and you are using a wedge, your true functionality will give you true. Because, of course, Nigeria is located in Europe is false. Why France is located in Europe is true. So, wedging the two together, you have true. That is the logic there, because one of the two statements are true. Now, when it now comes to the third aspect, which is the coil, coil. So, that coil is that sign that looks like a negative sign, but it's not a straight negative. It's, it has a bump. Now, talking about the coil, coil is a negation of whatever statements you have. So, if you say Nigeria is located in Africa, of course, it is true. But because you are using coil, it becomes false. That's the logic there. It becomes false. So if you say uh, France is located in Europe, it's true originally. But because you are using the coil, it becomes false. So that is uh, the law. So now, moving forward to have a particular different complex equations. Yeah, I've just given us three complex equations. We can have more. And at the end of this, I'm going to have uh, a kind of assignment for us, which we have to do. So don't forget, you must uh, comment by submitting the assignment in the comment section. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribed and you put your name, your matric number, and of course, your department. So looking at the question of the true functionalities, not too complex, as I said. Uh, the instruction is very important. The instruction up there says A, B, and C are true, while X, Y, and Z are false. So let's assume, so just assume any true statement to be A, B, C, any false statement to be X, Y, and Z. So the first equation, coil bracket open A dot B, bracket close, wedge bracket open coil Y dot Z, bracket close. So what's the solution? The first thing that we must do is first of all convert those statements into true or false. So that's the first step. So now you have coil bracket open, don't forget A and B, C, they are true. So true dot true, bracket close wedge, bracket open, coil, Y and Z are false. So false dot false is denoted by T, T and F, F. Now, after you've gotten that, you now apply the law governing the dot, the wedge and the coil. The coil can come later anyway. So the dots, first of all, for the first uh, bracket, bracket open, I mean coil bracket open, T dot T is what? True. Because it's true functionality, the two are true. So true, bracket close, wedge, bracket open. Don't forget that coil, you know, it will definitely affect the force and return it to true. So that's why we have T as true dot force. You know, that force is standing and it stays. So moving forward, the coil that we have at the back of, I mean, in front of that particular first statement, what will it do? It will affect this first statement alone. Don't forget the law of board mass. So, the negation of the true will give you false. So, that's why you have F, that's false, wedge, bracket, open was true dot false. That's false. Because for the dots, it must always be true. The component must be true. But if one component is false, it makes it false. So, that's why you have false. So, false, wedge, false will give you false. Don't forget the law governing wedge is that one of the components must be true. That's why it becomes true. But if all the components are false, it becomes false. Now, it is that we have false for the first equation. If you have any comments, you can drop it as well on the first equation. Now, the second equation, we have coil bracket open x, wedge z, bracket close, dot, bracket open, coil x, wedge a, bracket close. What's the first thing you do? After the question, of course, you, you convert it to the true functionalities. So, coil bracket open F. You know, don't forget X, Y, and Z are false. So, F, wedge F, bracket close dot, bracket open coil, what's X? It's still false. So, F, 
with what's a true with true bracket close then moving forward solve those brackets so you have f with f is f dot don't forget the coin the negation of false will turn it towards true so that's why we are having true so t with t so moving forward don't forget the negation of any uh, substance any of the figures any of the statement will change the parameters so that's why you're having uh, the negation of f will give you true dot true where true is what true so that's why the final answer of that statement of that situation of that circumstance is true i hope you get that so you can see it's very easy even though it's logical it's technical but it is as simple as you getting the logic the philosophy behind the true functionalities now the third equation before we go to the class assessment or assignment online is this now we have two big brackets you should note that we have two big or two different brackets so the equation is coil bracket open big bracket that's the big big bracket small bracket a wedge coil c bracket close dots coil a big bracket close now what's the first thing you do you translate those uh, statements into true functionality don't forget a b and c are what are true statements so let's see what will happen so when you translate it you have coil big bracket open small bracket open t wedge coil t bracket close dot coil t bracket close so you have coil big bracket open solve that first of all do the negation then we'll be fine so t that's true t wedge the negation of true gives you false so wedge false bracket close dot the negation of true again gives you false in the outer brackets so big bracket close don't forget the law of board mass the inner bracket comes first before the outer bracket don't forget that so the inner bracket you want to solve for the inner bracket first so the outer coil is still there coil bracket open so t which f is what true that's why you have that true there dot the force you have at the back then the bracket close then the negation don't forget you cannot use the negation yet until you solve the bracket so true dot force is what is false don't forget that's the law of dots is false so still retain your negation so negation of false gives you true and that's why we have uh that's true there i hope you get it so uh to actually summarize all of these things at as this i mean with these particular examples you should be able to solve more complex exercises so i want you to formulate questions for yourself and solve it you can formulate your question and drop it at the comment section but make sure you subscribe it's very important make sure you subscribe so that's when uh, we'll be able to uh, appreciate what you are doing and let the participation be much more intense now looking at that at this level you should be able to predict looking at a particular equation you should be able to predict the final answer yeah that there's a trick towards that but uh, I will release the trick in the next video so you get set for the uh, final video so let's go to the assignments okay before the assignments let's have the fourth equation or the fourth exercise and this is a little bit complex and you have to be much more attentive because it's somehow trickish but you have to be attentive so look at the equation coil bracket big bracket open a dot bracket small bracket open coil y dot coil z bracket close that's small bracket close wedge coil small bracket open a dot coil x small bracket close dot bracket x dot y bracket close coil big bracket close now what's the next thing turn all of those things into true functionality so when you turn into the true functionalities you have coil bracket open big bracket open t dot bracket open coil f dot coil f uh, bracket close wedge coil bracket open true dot coil f bracket close dot f 
dot f uh, bracket closes coil then uh, big bracket don't forget the last coil there is only affecting that last equation is not affecting all it's just the first so the first coil is affecting every of the equation so you must note that now the next line you have coil you can now begin to solve uh coil brick bracket open t dot bracket open t dot t don't forget the negation of f it gives you t the negation of f of false will give you true so that's why you have t dot d of dot t bracket close wedge bracket uh coil again don't forget uh t that's the true dot the negation of f gives you true bracket close dot bracket open f dot f don't forget the negation affecting that and big bracket closes now the third equation or I mean the third line in the process is coil uh bracket open don't forget it's a big bracket yet so t dot small bracket stop that t dot t is what of course true so bracket closes wedge coil uh t dot t again is what true so you have that bracket close dot f dot f is what false so bracket close don't forget the coil in front of it then the big bracket closes now let's solve that you have to be very attentive here the big bracket is still open t dot don't forget your bracket you can now release the bracket all right so you have your t bracket close wedge the coil of t is what false that's where you have your false dot uh the coil of false will give you what true that's where you have your true don't forget the coil is only affecting that particular equation and the finality of the equation is that false and the negation of false gives you true that's why you have that equation now listen attentively don't forget the first coil is affecting all that's why you see i have your bracket open and true dot true okay true dot true gives us what true that's where you have your true uh, wage f dot t now we are having three uh different parameters on the same uh pedestal of analysis now what would you do you will now link the two together to face the third if you want to start from behind or you want to start from the front anyway so let's start from the front in this particular case so true wedge true i mean true wedge force what do you give you of course true dot true that is standing on its own so uh true dot true gives us what true don't forget the negation and that's the negation and the final answer the negation of true gives us what false so this is the analysis which is very important for us to note so this is the assignment for this particular video very simple right so what you have to slug it out with the division so don't forget the simple processes and once you get the simple processes out then you have the division to slug out with so put your answer at the comment section make sure your matric number is there your name your matric number your department and uh we'll, we'll find you out we'll ask the team to record those people that have participated and there's always a price for every participant so thank you for watching thank you for staying glue make sure you subscribe make sure you subscribe make sure you like make sure you share so share to all the groups and let them uh, think logic think philosophy and uh, be able to exist in all aspects of human endeavor so with this uh, we'll meet in the next video. God bless you.